Good morning, John. As you know, I spent the first 22 years of my life living in Florida, where there are 43 million bugs per square centimeter, and the winter is the best time of the year because you can move around without getting sweaty. And then in 2003, I moved to Missoula, Montana, which was a shift. It usually hovers around the 20s and 30s in the winter. Sometimes it gets down to like negative 20. That's about as cold as it gets. And there are lots of people who told me the secrets to living in a cold place. And their secrets weren't secret. Everybody told me it's layers. The secret is layers. Like, oh, I never would have guessed that wearing more clothes would help. But nobody said the secret is don't touch metal with your bare hands because they were like, why would anyone do that? I'm from Florida. Pretend I'm a baby. So from a person who has made a successful transition from living in a warm climate to loving cold weather, here are the actual secrets. 30 degrees is not cold. I'm talking Fahrenheit here. 30 degrees is at most chilly. The difference between 60 and 30. I knew that that was a big difference. What I did not understand is the difference between 30 and zero is the same size. I just thought it was all, it got cold and then it was cold forever. No, uh, the difference between 20 and negative 20 is very big, like life-threateningly big. Cold begins when it is physically painful to have exposed skin. Very cold begins around zero degrees Fahrenheit. And then below very cold, we have what's called too cold, which is a temperature that you should not go out in unless you have become an expert in existing at that temperature. Number two, walking on ice is something that you just get better at as you try to do it more. But it is very dangerous. These are called traction cleats. They're sometimes also called crampons, even though crampons are technically a separate thing, which are used for climbing on ice and, I assume, also murder. They're not cheap, but they're cheaper than a broken arm. If you know it's gonna snow, pull your wipers up so that they don't freeze to the windshield and then break when you try to chip them off. Gloves are not for making your hands warm once they are cold. This was very confusing to me. Gloves keep your hands warm. Put them on before your hands get cold. Also, this is a fun tip. If you put your glove on before you put your jacket on, it makes a seal between the glove and the jacket. It's all about having good seals. Why I never understood scarves. I didn't know what scarves were for. This is a scarf. This is the easiest way to put on a scarf. There's like a thousand million others, but scarves are there to create the seal between your jacket and your neck. Also, you can sometimes pull them up and do one of these. Don't lick your lips a bunch. That's a disaster. My big cold jacket, 100% of the time there's a chapstick in the pocket. December is the beginning of winter. If you're into late January, where we are right now, and you think that winter is almost over, you are going to be very upset when April rolls around. Sunlight is important. If it's sunny out and there's no wind, it can be like t-shirt weather in the 30s. Also, seeing the sun and feeling it on your skin makes you much less miserable. Wind is much more important than sun. If it's, if it's in the teens and windy, just give up. I'm not gonna talk much about driving except to say it's different, go slow. And also, you need one of these. They're extremely inexpensive and you should probably buy two because if it breaks, then suddenly you have a $15,000 piece of equipment that you cannot operate because of the lack of a $4 piece of equipment. Also, don't buy those super short ones. I don't even know why they sell those. I almost forgot an important one. Do not turn your heater off. If you go on vacation, your pipes will explode and your house will be destroyed. Likewise, don't accidentally leave a gallon of milk in the back of the car. Yep. And finally, Try to enjoy it. It's very pretty. It's a little refreshing. It feels very clean. The sun sometimes comes out and that's nice. Even if it's just a walk in the park. Appreciate it. If only like a teeny teeny bit because otherwise you will resent it a lot. John, I'll see you on Tuesday.